Okay, Vicky, I brought you across to the whiteboard now because I'd like to show you how we can combine the Genevision visualizer with the whiteboard. Now, is this just a normal whiteboard, any kind of whiteboard? Yes, most classrooms now have a whiteboard of some kind and it really doesn't matter which one you're using. The visualizer will, will work with any make of whiteboard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the piece of software called VideoCap, which is supplied with the unit, and you can see I'm getting a live image coming through. If you want to just go and test that out by moving that object around, we'll see here that that is a live image coming through. Like so. There we go. Now, if I wanted to capture that, then I simply have to press this button here, the picture of a camera on, and that's asking me where I want to save it and asking me for a file name to save it. So I can save that in the normal way, and then I can close that down, and that is now saved. Let's go into this folder and we can see it. There it is. Open that up, and there is that saved image. I suppose it'd be great for taking shots of things that, I don't know, may have a short shelf life, like bread or some form of food or some artwork sometimes. And you've got it, you've got it captured forever. You've got it captured there, exactly. You can keep evidence of students' work as well. So if a student has just completed something, place it on the visualizer and grab it and captured it, and you've got, that, you've got evidence of it. I know in some schools they save all their work electronically now and then they've got, you know, they don't have to keep They've always got a record they've of it. They've always got a record of yeah. it then. Once I've got that image up on there, then I can use some of the features on my interactive whiteboard, such as I might use an annotation pen, for instance, to actually start labelling up some of the components that I can see on this particular picture here. Or I could use something like a spotlight or a reveal tool to actually focus you in on part of that image that I'm seeing on there. And that is amazing, isn't it? Because it, it focuses, it, it takes off everything else. That's right. But yes. you're not damaging any of it. If it was a student's artwork or yeah. some piece of work, you're not touching it, but you're getting to manipulate it. That's right, yeah. I'm just using the features that I've got on my whiteboard over the top of the image that I'm pulling in from my visualiser. So it's a great way of combining the two pieces of technology together. And it's very effective in a classroom to be able to do that.